A controversial practice known as medical aid in dying has been legal in New Jersey for the last five years, helping people to end their lives after receiving a terminal diagnosis, but only if they're a resident here. Well, now there's a fight to lose that requirement following in the footsteps of states like Vermont and Oregon, which would make medical aid in dying available to millions of more people, both the promise and the problem, depending on who you ask. Senior correspondent Brenda Flanagan has the story. Dying, everybody's going to die. It would be nice to have some, some guide rails along the line. Cancer survivor Judy Govados wants to plan a peaceful death using New Jersey's medical aid and dying law. It lets terminally ill patients choose to end their lives with prescription drugs under a doctor's supervision. Govados envisions a peaceful end if her cancer returns a third time, no more ravaging chemo. I'd like soft pillows, a blanket I'm particularly fond of, um, some really lovely music, some poetry, a few very close friends, a glass of wine, and to say goodbye and I love you. To say goodbye and I love you. But the 80-year-old grandmother lives in Delaware, where medical aid and dying is considered assisted suicide, a felony. And New Jersey's law applies only to state residents. So Govados joined a group that sued, calling New Jersey's residency requirement unconstitutional. But the judge disagreed and dismissed their case, continuing the ban on out-of-state patients who often request help from Dr. Paul Bryman. They'd like nothing better than to not be terminally ill and dying, but they feel that their suffering is insurmountable and ending their suffering is their goal and their choice. Under New Jersey law, we need to tell them that they're not eligible unless they change their residency to the state of New Jersey. The Camden physician treats hospice patients. He joined Gavados in her lawsuit to abolish Jersey's residency requirement and doesn't expect it would trigger a rush of patients to New Jersey. The number of people is, is, is small. And in other states where this is legal, in Vermont and Oregon, it's a handful of people. There's not people rushing in droves. Right. It's their choice. But federal court judge Marie Bum wrote at its core, the issue is whether the Constitution requires a state to extend to non-residents a non-fundamental privilege that it affords to its own residents. Notwithstanding a terminally ill person's genuine desire to access medical aid in dying, this court concludes that the answer is no. The Constitution does not so require. Advocates are appealing. We wish that the judge had seen things our way. We feel confident that the appellate court will take a look with fresh eyes, and um, we're hopeful that they'll recognize that medical aid and dying in New Jersey is an established medical practice that fits within the standard of care. Attorney Amitai Heller feels the state's taking a hypocritical stance. Would New Jersey deny access to abortion care for an out-of-state resident? And, and if not, why should medical aid and dying be any different? The reason I'm doing this is I, I, want, I want to be a part of changing the culture around death because people really are suffering needlessly. About 100 New Jersey residents opted for medical aid in dying last year. Gavado says if New Jersey won't let her opt in, she'll travel to Vermont when the time comes. I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJ Spotlight News. Thank you.